Hello and welcome to this video from Client Engager. In this video, I'm going to talk you through folders, for subfolders, what clients can see, what clients can't see, and show you what you can do with the folders within Client Engager. Okay, so as you can see, we're in the Client Engager product here. So what I'm gonna do first is I'm gonna show you how we set up our folders and we can go from there. So first of all, we need to go into our settings. And then we need to scroll down until we get to the folder template. You can have a different group of folders and layout of folders for each company type. So you can have limited companies, you've got your partnerships and your charities. So we're gonna use the limited company one for today. First of all, the first thing you need to notice is we've got read, write, and subfolder. You'll notice on some of these that the read is green. That means your clients can see this folder in their client portal. If it's if write is green, that means your client can not only just read and see the folder and look into the folder and see the documents and open the documents, they can add to those documents. They can upload their own documents into the folder. If subfolder is green, that means the clients can go in add a subfolder, add documents to that subfolder and see all the other documents in that folder. If like here with archive, all of those options are gray, that means that folder will not show up in the client's portal. The reason we've got this type of option is so that you can have folders that contain sensitive information stored relevant to the client in Client Engager, but not give the clients access to those documents. So things like your workings, Things like professional clearance from a previous accountant, that can all be stored, but without the client seeing it. If you want to add a new, a new folder to your complete structure, then all you need to do, click on the top, new top level folder. We're gonna have a test folder. And we'll confirm that. And then if you scroll down, you can now see we've now got this new folder called test folder. Now this folder is brand new, so it's automatically hidden from clients. So if I want to change the settings for this, all I need to do is click on shared settings and I can click whether a client can read it, modify it, which is the right option, or sub add subfolders. I can click confirm to that. Now what if I want more folder structures within that folder? All I do is click on add subfolder, test level one folder, click and confirm. Now, if you said a client can read, write, or access the subfolder on these, on a folder, that rule automatically applies to all the subfolders within it. What if I want a folder within that folder? Well, all I need to do is press the add button. Folder in folder. And there we go. So as you can see, we can build out a whole hierarchy of folders and subfolders appropriate to what you need. If you want to get rid of a level of folders, you just click delete and confirm. Again, delete and confirm. If you decide actually you don't want the client to now have access to do the subfolders, that's fine. We can just go in and untick that. So that's how we add folders within our folder structure. Once you add any folder or make any changes in the folder settings here to the templated folders, that automatically applies to every single limited company. So for example, I might want to add a new folder for ready for 2031. I could do that and that would add a new file folder into every single limited company client straight away. It saves you going into all your different folders and making the same folder time and time again, which is really time consuming. It also means that every single client's running on the same folder substructure to make it nice and tidy and organized. Okay, so now we've seen what we can build out and what templates we can set for our folder structures in our settings, let's see what we can do with it in our clients. When we're in our client, we go to files. As you can see, the folder structure is already here. 
And you can see there the test folder, that's the one I put in earlier. But most importantly, you can see which folders have got any documents in them. You can also see by the green square and an arrow in it, which ones are publicly available to your client. I'm gonna show you in a, in a video later on what the client portal looks like and what the clients can see from their perception. But for now, all you need to remember is any folders with the green shared, a green icon on, they're shared to your clients and they can read in them at least. They can, and they will also see the folder in their file structure on their portal. You might decide, actually, I don't want them to be able to see the AML reports. So you can go into the settings and turn that off. For now, I'm just gonna go into my accounts folder. You can see all the different years and you can see which one has got the document in. I'm gonna click on this and you come up with your options. So you've got all the information about when it was uploaded, how big it is, whether the client can read or write or whatever it wants to do with it. You can preview the PDF. If you've load, uploaded Word or Excel or something like that, you won't be able to preview those. You'll have to download them and open them natively. But PDFs you can preview right here and you can also download with a big green download button at the top. On top of that, you can also request a signing. So you can, we've already got free signing requests here and I'll show you what those look like in the client portal in a later video. But you can also request the signing from here. You can rename the file. You can delete the file. You can download the file from here as well. So that's how the folders and file structure works in Client Engager. You can add as many documents as you want. There's no data storage limits with us. You can have as many folder structures as you want. You can make it as complex as you want. You can make it as simple as you want. It's entirely up to you. But through this video, what you've learned is you've learned how to add and delete folders, how to make them visible to your clients and how to hide them from your clients how to upload documents to the folder structure, how to preview documents, and how to send them off for e-signing. Hope this video has been helpful, and I'll talk to you all again soon.